Today I'm going to be explaining how to unbox your brand new RS200 unit. So this is exactly how it's going to uh, look when it shows up at your location all boxed up. Uh, some of the tools you're going to need to unbox this. A uh, basic mechanics tool set uh, which may include a socket wrench. Um, you're going to need your basic hammer, box cutter, a Phillips head screwdriver, lifting straps and of course your power plug. So the first step to unboxing your RS200 would be to cut uh, the two plastic straps on each side of the box and you're going to have eight supporting nails you're going to take off on each side of the box. So once you carefully take the box cover off of the unit, what you're going to find on the pallet is two boxes. One box with your carry handle for the grinding set. And the second box located underneath the unit itself is going to be your power cord and your operating manual. Once you've removed both boxes off of the pallet, you're going to want to take off this plastic covering. Once the plastic's off, the next step is to remove the actual bracket that's actually bolting the unit to the pallet itself. You're going to want to remove four bolts that the bracket's bolted into the pallet. There's also four corresponding bolts that's bolted in the actual unit as well you're going to want to remove. Once the shipping bracket is all unbolted, the next step would be to attach the straps to the lifting bars located on each side of the unit directly to the forklift. And you got to make sure that you're going to have enough clearance. We recommend about 31 and a half inches. Um, and then you're going to actually lift the unit up, place it on the ground, and then you can actually roll it right into the designated area that you're going to place it. So once you have the unit rolled into the designated area that you're going to be operating it in, the unit actually comes with the power cord pigtailed just like this. It does not come with a plug. So what you're going to want to do is get your favorite electrician to just install uh, the plug of their choice into the correct outlet for you. Once you have your plug all wired on and plugged in, what you're going to want to do is hit the power switch located on the back of the unit. Once the unit's all powered on, you can actually open up the unit and here you're going to see we have a nice welcome screen where you're going to have a couple different language options so you can choose which one corresponds to you best. So the last step to installing your RS200 would be to cut the zip tie and remove the two shipping bolts on each side with the Allen key that comes with the unit. 